Invention, not real. That's not the world I want to live in. That's not right. For our media, we developed our own IP and firmware and spent millions of dollars testing, certifying, and QC every media card that we ship. It's why we have significantly less card errors than other companies using generic media, even reputable generic media. Jared Land, Red.com's president. Let's see how error-free Red Minimax are. These are only some reports posted by users on a few social media groups. I'll leave the judgment to you. On the last day of July 2016, Mr. Jared Land, the president of Red.com, under his Red Team account, introducing himself as a patent holder in a response to an early introduction of a competitor, third-party SSD drive for Red Camera, says, Guys, I can't tell you how much this pisses me off, not from a business perspective, but as a patent holder and a creator. For our media, we developed our own IP and firmware and spent millions of dollars testing, certifying, and QC every media card that we ship. It's why we have significantly less card errors than other companies using generic media, even reputable generic media. Media is one of the most critical components of the entire system and the way we write to a card is very different than a normal SSD is programmed for. For some random company to hack and duplicate our IP and our firmware, which is the only way they could do this, is exactly like someone stealing your films and calling them their own and selling them to others. It goes against everything I stand for. It's not a world I want to work or create or live in. Jared. Okay, let's take a closer look. This is a Red Mini Mac. Red claims that Red developed their own IP and firmware for this. That Red writes very differently to a card than what a normal SSD is programmed for. That Red has significantly less card errors than other companies using even reputable generic media. That Red spends millions of dollars testing every media they ship. That others stealing their products and calling them their own and selling them to others. Which goes against everything Red stands for. Let's see how truthful that is. So this is a Red Mini Mac, presented as 512 gigabyte, presented as made in USA, with a customized, specially developed SSD firmware by Red. Well, to take a closer look, you need to take it apart. And to take it apart, there are four screws you need to undo. That's it, you are in. Inside, you will find this standard off-the-shelf ordinary MSATA SSD connected to that adapter. The MSATA SSD part is the green bit. But first, let's take a look at the adapter PCB to see if there is any magic in it. Well, this is a simple pass-through adapter. It behaves like a travel main adapter that, let's say, converts US main plug into European or UK main plug. What it does is changing one type of connector to another type of connector. This is a standard MSATA or mini PCIe connector. This one probably is by AVX Kai Sierra 
It's made in China and it's for $2 each. This is a Champ docking connector. This one is by TE Connectivity. It's made in China and it's for $2 each. These are also famously known as docking station connector. This is a simple pass-through PCB. It's called simple because there's no signal processing. It's just a couple of wires connecting pins to pins. Those pair of resistor capacitors on each side are called common ground noise filter or ground loop filter. Combined together, they are creating a simple pass-through adapter. There certainly is nothing magical in there. Getting back to the MSATA SSD itself, you can see that RED uses Micron Crucial SSD, not RED. Micron Crucial has huge manufacturing facilities in Singapore and China, with its products commercially available to any business and are commonly utilized in many devices such as laptops, iPods, and many other handheld devices. Upon closer look on the MSATA SSD, you can see that the capacity is clearly marked as 480 GB, not 512 GB, as Red says. What is missold as Red Minimac 512GB in truth is only 480GB unformatted MSATA SSD, with its capacity clearly marked on the actual SSD, a significantly lower capacity than what Red sold them for. Red uses a rigging and a software trickery inside the camera to pretend that this is 512. Red uses M500 series. M500 are MLC, not SLC, not a special one. Micron Crucial M500 series are consumer-grade, off-the-shelf, ordinary SSDs. These are MLC or multi-level cell-based, and not a bit more expensive SLC or single-level cell-based. Micron Crucial are product of Singapore or China. These are not made in the USA. You can see that the SSD firmware is MU05. These are standard free to download SSD firmware by Micron. They are not customized firmware. They are not developed by Red. Standard free to download MU05 is made by Micron and is available to the public. Despite Red's false claim, there is no special or customized firmware on the SSD. If you are keen to get a bit more information, that SSD part number comes handy. That 4AT highlighted in green is the actual SSD capacity stated by the manufacturer. The AB highlighted in red color indicates the feature set of the SSD. AB means standard feature set. There's nothing special with this SSD. That YY highlighted in blue at the end is a customer designator indication. For example, if this was made for HP, that would have been HA, or different letters for Dell or other companies. YY means this is standard off-the-shelf distribution SSD. You can see that the SSD uses industry standard serial ATA or SATA communication interface. The most common communication interface every laptop or computer or mobile phone uses to communicate and write and read from HDD or SSD. This is not a different way of writing on a card. There is no way a hosting device such as a camera can communicate or write any differently onto this device. What about those millions of dollars spent on testing? You can see all the compliances and tests done by the manufacturer, not by RED. Tests such as FCC, CE, ICC, TUV, and a host of other tests. I got an off-the-shelf Crucial Micron M500 480GB MSATA SSD from the online market, namely eBay. You can see the firmware is MU03. This is a standard default firmware by Micron Crucial. I specifically and intentionally got a different firmware version than the SSD found in Red Minimag to prove that the SSD firmware has no role to play. While you're here, please note that the capacity is clearly marked as 480GB and not 512GB. Let's see what happens if I stick this ordinary MSATA M500 480GB by Crucial with firmware MU03 into a red camera. Surprisingly, there is a rigging software inside the camera that makes the camera to display fake capacity and false make and model information. Thanks to that rigging software, suddenly a 480GB Crucial M500 SSD becomes red 512GB.
By going into the more info, you can see that the firmware is MU03. Remember, MU03 was the off-the-shelf SSD's standard firmware version by Micron Crucial, not by RED, which works identically fine. So there's no SSD firmware by RED. In fact, RED uses other trickery using standard features of ordinary SSDs to restrict the camera functionality to force you to buy these ordinary standard SSDs from them with a huge profit margin misrepresenting them as if they are non-generic and a special SSDs. Now, let's eject this SSD from the camera and stick it to a computer. This simply is a mSATA to SATA adapter connected to a Windows computer. On the PC, I'm running Crystal Disk Info. Crystal Disk Info is a free and very useful utility that shows a lot of information about your drive. As you can see, unlike RED camera, Crystal Disk Info shows the actual SSD model number, correct one. It also shows real capacity. Now, take a look at the firmware version MU03, that is the original Micron and Crucial SSD firmware version. Next stop is visiting Micron's website. Over their website, Micron offers a public freeware, storage executive software. You can use this freeware to download, upgrade, and overwrite Micron's SSD's firmware. I'm going to use this Micron's free utility to overwrite the SSD's firmware with this public version to see if that makes any difference. Now that is downloaded and I'm running that Micron's utility. The utility correctly detects Micron SSD drive attached to this computer and the drive's true identification, which is Micron, is being displayed. In contrast to what the camera was showing, this is not a red SSD. You can also see that the current firmware version of the SSD is MU03. That is going to be overwritten by MU05, which is Micron's newer firmware version. So I start the overwriting process. It takes about 10 minutes, which I skip. What it does is that it purges MU03 from the attached SSD and completely replaces it with MU05, which the software downloads from the Micron's public website. That was a success. Let's stick that back into the camera to see if that made any difference. The point is, if there was any customization on that firmware, this publicly available free to download one should not be functional anymore. So now I'm reconnecting the ordinary M500 MSATA drive with the Micron's public firmware on it back into the red camera. Not very surprisingly, the drive still is red 512 gigabyte. And the SSD firmware, as you can see, is now upgraded to the one that we just downloaded from Micron's website. Take a careful look. The SSD is shown as if it is a RED's product with a false capacity shown. And it works just as fine with the standard firmware we just downloaded from Micron. There is no RED firmware. There's no customization here. You can also use the same utility to download and override this freely available firmware on the mSATA SSD that is taken out from RED Minimac and that makes no difference at all. You can also run a binary comparison between the firmware on the SSD and the publicly available firmware and you will find that they are identical bit for bit. This concludes that RED Minimac uses a standard SSD firmware and has no customized firmware. RED uses standard features of low-cost consumer-grade MLC SSDs to intentionally cripple its camera's functionality to fake a customized firmware that enables their excessive pricing. So on the left is a Micron Crucial M500 generic low-cost consumer-grade 480GB mSATA SSD which you can buy from retail market for about 200 to 250. Consider that RED bought them in bulk so they paid even less. On the right is RED Minimac 512 gigabyte that is being sold for 2,500 plus tax plus shipping. This was misrepresented as 512 gigabyte as made in USA as superior to generic media with RED specially developed firmware in it. So RED takes other people's products and inventions, changes the opening credit, calling them as their own and selling them to others with a hefty amount of premium on top of the manufacturer's price. Remember this quote? It goes against everything I stand for. So here is the method. How to become a millionaire. The red.com method. Grab someone else's product. Change the opening credit. 
concert it so your hardworking users cannot recognize it easily, tell everyone that this is a special, add some lies to the label, and sell it to the others at a premium price. Red does this in a great industrial scale. This is Red Minimac assembly line inside Red's California facility. As you can see, they are getting some MSATA drives, connecting it to that simple pass-through adapter, adding some gap fillers and print whatever they want on top of them. And ching, Red just made tens of thousands out of other people's product. Remember, the same thing was on sale for almost $2,500 plus tax plus shipping. Let's read through some of the other decent statements. Mr. Land stated, We invented something. Someone is saying they have stolen it and you are sitting there telling everyone that is okay. It is the same as if you saved up or borrowed 10 million and went and wrote and directed and shot your film, you edit it together and finish it and put it up on iTunes for some price to get your money back. But someone from China looks at your film and likes it and says, F that guy charging that money for his film on iTunes, I don't think people should pay that much. Let's just download this guy's film, steal it, change the opening credit with our logo and re-upload it on iTunes and charge some other money. That's not right. So change the opening credit with our logo. That's not right. That's not right. So Micron made something, got investors, spent on R&D quality control and came up with a product and put it in a competitive market with a reasonable price. And someone looks at it and says, oh, I like this one. I don't think people should pay that price for this product. Let's take it, change the opening credit with Red's logo and charge hefty amount. Red's own words. That's not right. Okay, Google, define fraud. Here's the definition of fraud. Wrongful or criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. But Brent Carter says, it's all for you guys. 